Hey, what's going on, guys? I uh, just thought I'd do a quick video on uh, kind of updating you guys on what's going on. I did just release a video. I hope you guys watch it. Uh, just about launching a product. I really believe like that's my philosophy to launch a product. Um, there are exceptions to that, and one of them uh, I've never been much on the COVID-related products, just because you know they're temporary. Um, it's not going to build a long-term brand. I know a lot of people are looking at that. You know, you may still be able to capitalize on that. I did come across a product um, last or a few days ago that is really COVID related, uh, very much so. And I was like, you know what? Just the numbers looked really great. I came in with a small differentiation that nobody seems to have, um, a color that nobody seems to have. So I'm really hoping it'll do well. I did decide to go for it. Uh, I put it together. Over the weekend, uh, I spent about $3,800 to $3,900 on it. I know for you guys, like, you know, a lot of you guys trying to start out, that's a lot. Um, that's pretty much what you have to start with. Now, this could be one of those products that, you know, it's it's probably, I don't even know, probably like a half a pound. Um, it's a smaller product uh, in some respects, but it's most definitely COVID related. I'm not going to tell you what it is because... You know, my market is really ripe right now. If I had product in now, I'm sure it would sell. So, you know, by the time I get it in, it's going to be a month. You know, uh, it's a risk, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. And I think it could pay off big. If I calculate it right, I can make anywhere from, you know, three to 7,000 on, on an order. So I'm going to try a 1,000 of them, and I'm going to try some quickly. And if I find they're not going quick enough, I'm going to lower my price and get them out the door because I don't want to risk losing uh, money on that but the payday I think is is big so I don't I feel like if I can sell one or two orders of it I can make good money um, it's kind of like a, a a quick run and you know one and done maybe two orders and done I, you know it's not going to be a long-term solution but I feel like this COVID thing could go on for till the end of the year into next year and if you find the right product um, you know, we're still going to have certain restrictions. We're still going to, you know, obviously if you were selling a mask, which I'm not selling a mask, but obviously you, I can see us all wearing masks into next year. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not suggesting you sell a mask on Amazon. A lot of people are getting banned for just doing just that. So be real careful with the COVID products. I know Amazon's cracking down hard on those people like sanitizer and all that stuff. Price gouging is running rampant. The states are going after people. It's really insane. Um, my product is kind of insulated from all of that. It's, it's, you know, so anyway, I'm not going to say what it is, but I'll keep you guys updated on whether or not I make some money on it. Uh, again, it's about a $3,800 risk. I'm willing to take that risk because I think I can make my money back and then a lot more. Uh, really hoping, like I said, at least make about 5000 Um So yeah, you know, I don't feel real comfortable with this like I do with my other products. Um, I, I invest a lot more time and uh, a lot more long-term a lot more of a, like a long-term view on my other products, kind of like what I talked about in my previous video. But, you know, strike and grab opportunity when, it's, when it presents itself. And I feel like this is one of those products where I can, I can seize the opportunity and I can, I can make money. You know, I've told other people about products like this, and I don't know. People are scared. They're scared. You know, I, I've been really, I've been reading an interesting, more like listening to an interesting guy. Uh, his name is Chris Voss. He's an FBI negotiator or a former FBI negotiator. Really good stuff on negotiating. I'm hoping to brush up on my negotiation skills. Um, just from a perspective of like talking to people on Alibaba, it's hard to do through text. I've tried it on some people. It actually does work. It got me down from like, it got me down by like, uh, it, it saved me about $500 on this last product. So that's pretty good. Um, I, you know, I, I talked him down from that, and it's really interesting how he does it. It's really using rapport and listening and mirroring, and there's all kinds of interesting techniques he uses. And in some respects, it can work. A lot of it's body language, though, so it's really hard. But in some respects, it does work with text. And you're not going to have nearly as much success as if you were actually talking to somebody um, you know, or if you can actually see somebody use your body language. But it's really cool. I highly suggest you guys check it out. It's uh, Never Split the Difference is the name of the book. And uh, he has a master class that I also took, uh, which was really cool. 
So, yeah, guys, highly knowledgeable, unbelievable. Uh, putting into practice is really cool. Um, sorry, I have dry lips today. I'm really going to continue to do, uh, to study this guy. Really love his work. Very cool, very interesting. So, if you ever get a chance, maybe check it out for yourself. Um, so, yeah, I'll let you guys know what's, what's going on with that product. Uh, I have some new product, a new product I've been working on for a while now that I'm, I'm frustrated how, how long it's taking. I'm about to get that, hopefully, in production within the next week. Uh, some guy on Alibaba tried to rip me off, man. Um, some lady, I'm not even sure if it was a lady or a guy, but, you know, just, like, completely rude. Like, has no idea. Like, they're never going to get business from me. Um, they were trying to charge me an extra, like, 5 or $6. Like, I'm not going to pay it. And they're trying to say their quality is that much better. It's not. So, uh, I found... Uh, I found stuff cheaper from other people, so uh, you gotta look around. Just make sure you're getting good quality. That's very important. I, I usually go with one guy. He can get a lot of the stuff for me, so kind of build a relationship with him, and he builds a lot of my stuff, uh, which is great. He doesn't just do one product or one one niche. So very cool. I trust him. Um, and if I come back with a better price, you know, he typically matches it. And if he can, he'll tell me. So it's always good if you build good relationships with people. Um, being polite, being courteous, you know. Negotiation is not about demanding anything. It's about listening more than anything and taking action on that. So something to consider. Um, keep you guys updated on the product. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the previous video. If you guys have any questions or concerns, let me know. Um, just trying to build this business, really hoping I can get it to over 100K. I, I don't want to sound overconfident, but I'm really hopeful. Uh, I was going to mention something about that negotiating is that, or excuse me, launching a product. You know, he mentions one really interesting thing, and it's part of the negotiation process. It's that people are more scared to lose than they are to gain. What I mean by that is, you know, when you think about launching a product, you have this fear, right? You might, I, I'm, I'm risking thirty eight hundred dollars on a product. I might lose that money. Maybe I'll lose half. Maybe I won't lose any. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll get five thousand, right? Basically, if the prospect, if I, if I have a higher percentage that I'm going to make money, and a lower percentage that I'm going to lose money, still that lower percentage is going to take over and for, for almost anybody because the prospect of losing is much greater than gaining. So let's say I can make $10,000 with this product, but I could lose $3,800. Is it worth it? You know, the numbers look more favorable because I can make, I can make $10,000, right? But people are so scared to lose that $3,800 that they won't, they won't act on it. Um, it, it's really an interesting concept and he's, he used it for negotiation and, and, and respects to like, you basically tell them, well, if we can't make a deal and, and in certain words that you're going to, we're going to lose, you're going to lose the whole deal anyway, you know, you're going to lose the business. So that's kind of a prospect that makes people jump back into the deal or makes them hopefully take the deal. Um, if you make them aware of what they could lose. So people are more afraid fear more of what they can lose than what they can gain. Everybody wants to know the future. Everybody wants a, a certain or a short thing. It doesn't exist. You have to go for it, and you have to rely on a prospect that you could really succeed. You can make a ton of money. So you have to think about it that way, um, and you have to let go of that fear. You could lose money, but you can't let that control you. So just something to take away. I really like that part of the negotiation. It's just human nature to worry more about losing than, than gaining. Uh, once you let go of that fear of losing, you, I think, will gain so much more. You'll gain experience, you'll gain knowledge, and hopefully money. So uh, hopefully, guys, uh, you guys are all doing well, and uh, have a great night. God bless, and like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Thank you so much.